Good morning, and it's Monday, the day after Mother's Day. I know it's real sunny where I am because I don't have shade, so I'm just out there. The sun is beaming, and I don't have shade, so I'm sorry about that. Um, but in this one, in this one, I should have written it down, but I remembered it because it's mother's day i just wanted to say i had a good mother's day my daughter cooked i didn't have to do anything all day the big kids did everything for me so i was i was just it was a good day but with this video this video i just wanted to talk about energy harvesting like do you know what energy harvesting is and it's like someone someone <laughs> or a person, a place, a business can take your energy. They absorb your energy and they thrive off it. Like they come off, off of your energy. So, and then I had a dream like that. It was like energy harvesting. It's like the place of business that I worked and that's what they were doing to everyone that was employed there. It was like they were absorbing the energy it was like taking their energy so that they could come off even better. So then it's like, okay, so then if this is the place of business and they want to absorb people's energies and they want to take people's energies that work there, then why not pay them to do that? But then it's like they're stealing money from the employees that are there. So it's, it's like, it's just so much shit. So I will you know I was happy to leave like I don't regret leaving because it's like I I could see like what's going on and it's all spiritual it's all spiritual so and then it's like you can say like what's going on and they're gonna look at you like you're crazy like what like energy harvesting like they're taking my energy they're coming off of my energy like yeah that's what that's what they're doing they're making money off of your energy your work your you and then i thought of my my when i was married <laughs> when i was married and then it's like i had i had everything like i had all this credit like like i had everything like i was good and then it was like this do it was like he took everything from me and then he was absorbing my energy also and he was doing it to the kids so and then it's like my kids would see how we are we are like we're okay but then when she would look at him it's like how is he doing better than us and you you, you finish college you finish high school you have a diploma you have a good job and it's like how is this and he didn't even finish high school living in a better situation than us and i'm like you know that's just the way it is you know, I I didn't think that that's what he was doing, but that's what he was doing. And karma's going to hit him. Karma's going to come back because black magic, when you're doing black magic, it is going to work. It is going to work against you. It is going to work. And the only way it's not going to work is once you pay attention, pay attention, pay attention, <laughs> pay attention to the shit, like pay attention. Like once you realize like what the hell is going on, then it breaks, the spell breaks. And then that person gets karma for doing the black magic in the first place. And then there's no way around it. There's no way to cleanse it. There's no way to, to take it back because you done did it like 10 years ago. And then you took everything from this person so that you could have a better life. And then when they finally realize this is what you were doing it's all gonna come back you're gonna lose everything that you got from taking this energy you're gonna lose it and you know it's gonna go back to the person that you stole it from they're gonna be better off have a better life you know gonna be successful gonna be everything you know you want to block a person's relationships finances and just make everything difficult for them it's like the energy comes back to you the energy comes back and the thing is with black magic it works i hate to say it but it does work and the only way it's not gonna work 
is if once you realize like what a person is doing like someone is doing love spells someone is doing this someone is doing that like they want you to be nice to them so they'll do a love spell so that you could be nice to them like you know i'm not gonna be nice to you i fucking hate you but you know that's what happens when a love spell backfires you end up hating the person and you hate them and you hate them so much and it's like you know you shouldn't hate this person so much but the reason you hate them is because they did a love spell and it's backfiring or it backfired you know so now you hate the person and it's like oh why do i feel like this and you know it's all it's all magic it's all spiritual the money it's like the money is like how you could want a person to struggle and have a hard time and then they're already going through a hard time, but then you purposely do things so that they can have more of a hard time. You know, that energy is gonna come back. It is gonna come back to you. And it's like, how, how dare you? Like, how dare you like do that to a person or wish that on a person? And it's like, you're supposed to wanna help people. You're supposed to wanna help people progress move forward have a better life and it's like you purposely want people to have a hard time in life and life life is already hard and it's like why would you do that to someone and it's so unnecessary but you know when you have power when you have power people abuse their power or if you're in a relationship and you don't want to be in the relationship and you leave the person the person gets angry and then they want to retaliate against you and they want to hurt you and they want you to go through a difficult time you're not meant to have a difficult time because you are successful by yourself but because they're angry they're jealous they're mad because you've left them they don't want you to be successful and have a good life and you know have everything that you're supposed to have they want you to have a difficult time so it's like you know be careful who who <laughs> you choose to be close to have a child with because and then that's 18 years of hell and it's like you just have to be real mindful of all of that and then it's like 20 years later and then it's like now you see it for what it is or maybe you saw it like I saw it for what it uh, was when they were 16 but I couldn't do anything about it it's like what can I do all I could do is grow heal evolve and act like everything is okay focus on myself keep it moving forward like just do what you gotta do like I'm not gonna be fucked up because of because of such and such like oh hell no like i'm gonna do what i gotta do and i'm gonna keep it pushing like that's just how it is but you know i wanted to talk about energy harvesting because energy harvesting is a thing people really do it people harvest your energy and they could be living successfully they could have all this money they could be living their best life but it's off of you it's off of your energy they're living so well so fabulously and then it's like once you figure this shit out like you need to wake up wake up <laughs> figure this shit out like oh like you have all of this and it's it's because of me like this is why you have all of this it's because of me like you're too stupid to have it on your own let me not insult anybody but you know I did find an article here it's called earth monk free yourself free yourself so it's like this is a way for you to protect your energy because this is people do this that's why they say always you go to school you grow up and you want to open up your own business because you don't have to deal with with corporations stealing your energy energy harvesting like you know everybody does it everybody does it and they're gonna lie to you and act like they're not doing anything but that's what they're doing and then they lie and they try to hide it but this is what they do 
So in this article, Earth Monk, Free Yourself, is called earthmonkguru.com. And then the article is called Eight Powerful Ways to Protect Your Spiritual Energy. There are many reasons you might find it useful to protect your spiritual energy. This is a pretty long article. So, and then I'm going to just give in the steps. I'm not going to read into it. Like, but it does have eight steps. I'll just read like the eight steps. But it does have like a few paragraphs for each step. So, one, our power words. It's like, but it's important to read what it's saying so okay so i'm gonna just make another video and talk about the earth monk article but this video was energy harvesting it's like you really got to pay attention to people and the energy that they carry you got to pay attention to when pay attention to your own energy like if you feel your energy is depleted like you have lost all of your energy or you know you're always lively and you're full of energy you're full of life and your energy is depleted like you you're dead you're gone you're like you have nothing left it's because it's being taken from you is what are you doing who are you around they're stealing your energy that's that's what's being done they're stealing it so just pay attention so that you can protect yourself cleanse yourself you know and protect yourself block that energy I'm gonna come back and go into the earth monk article because they have eight powerful ways to protect your spiritual energy because there is a way for you to block it so that your energy cannot be taken stolen <laughs> your energy won't be stolen once you figure out like oh they that's what has been happening they've been stealing my energy then whatever they have been doing it gets blocked karma hits they lose they lose everything they lose everything 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 they got off of your energy they're gonna lose it <laughs> that's that's how this that's how this works anyway leave with love stay positive vibe high and i'll be right back bye